Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am going to do some uh, Star Wars Black Series openings today. Um, I have the, I went and set them up here. This, these are actually in sequence so you can kind of see the how they run into the next card or the next box on the picture montage there but this is the imperial officer dark times and he is number two of star wars andor and then i have the shore trooper he's number three from andor So there we go. Um, also have the short trooper from the archive collection. So I'm gonna. This is what this video is gonna be on. This is the short trooper from these two, and we're gonna compare the two. And then I'll also do the imperial officer from Ferrix. And he is number four from the Andor Black Series. So that'll be a different video. And the Imperial Imperial Officer will be a different video. So these are the two we're going to do right now. Um, I'm going to start off with the Archive. Short Trooper. I think it originally came out in, in just the black box when Rogue One came out. And then they re-released it on this archive collection card. Right. And so he's specialist stormtrooper stationed at the top secret imperial military headquarters on scarif shore troopers patrol the beaches and bunkers of the planetary facility and i guess it came out around 2016 originally all right so it has this insert in there Basically, just comes with a gun. Okay. So there he is, and it has all the normal articulation for Black Series figure. So he looks kind of dirtied up and a little yellowed. And his head is a little different. It has like that um, I don't know what you would call that. It's like a little it goes forward and backwards. <laughs> it's not just a ball joint. It has a ball joint, but it also has that. So, and I think that makes it kind of gives it a little addition to the articulation because you can kind of jut his head out if he was to be on a speeder bike or something. You can kind of make it different. Like that, but where you can have it can be pretty straight up. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> um, let's go ahead and we'll stick his gun in his hand here, and we'll set him over here until we get the other one open, and then we'll compare the two. All 
Okay, so this is the one from the Andor series. I already see a couple of differences. Okay. He has a different gun, first of all. Keep all my Black Series boxes and try to line them up where they have the the pictures on the side run together. It's pretty cool. Takes up a lot of shelf space over a while just to have that montage. Uh, <laughs> all right. So this one has some different colors. It has that same neck thing going on. And it turns. But I noticed the, uh, this is a different mold. This one's got a little lighter brown, more chocolatey brown. Um. Uh, legs and stuff but this part around the waist is different because this one goes to the side of this pouch and this one goes straight up and down and this one has a holster and i don't know if the gun fits in there very good or <laughs> Looks like it'd be kind of hard to get his gun to go in there, but I guess you could. I'm not really sure. It looks like that gun don't really have a good way to go in there. Okay, this pulls out. All right. So then you can stick it in there. Still not easy to do, but it could be done. <laughs> okay, there we go. So you can strap his gun to the side there. That's a little different. And it's, these are a little different. These little uh, canister things. That part looks about the same. Like I said, this whole little skirt thing, it goes between the midsection and pelvis is different. It's a different mold. Um, let's see if I notice any other differences in the molding. I think everything else is the same mold. Yeah. I don't see any other differences. So, but just that skirt thing gives it a different look. And the paint has definitely got some different paint detailing. So, we'll look at that now. <laughs> okay, so this one has the stripe on the arm. And this one has like the whole shoulders are kind of white. And then this one has the white on the shoulder and that one doesn't. Um... The, just the weathering in general is a little different. This one seems to, the archive version has more like where it's got dirty detailing. Like it's like it's got some dirt slung up on his chins there. And this one has just kind of like an overall dirty look, a little bit of weathering. And the helmets are kind of, you can kind of tell the weathering on the helmets are a little different. That one's, 
This one has more of a consistent dirty look. And this one has more of a uh, kind of like got some dirt on him kind of look. I kind of like this look better because it looks more natural like how he got dirty and stuff. And then the other thing is this one's a little, the browns are a little bit different on each one. I don't know if you can tell that on the camera. This one's more like a chocolatey brown. This one's more like a dirty brown, I guess. Muddy brown, maybe. So there you go. That's the two differences. I'll put them side by side here and let you see the differences. And, uh, try to put them out here where you can kind of have a good comparison side by side. All right, and I'll be doing the um, other two that I showed in my next video. So check those out. But it's a good figure. I like them. I like that they're different. I got both of them, and they're not just two exact same figures. So I'm glad they switched up. The detailing just a little bit if nothing else just to set them apart and I, li I like that after I figured out it unsnapped so that the gun actually goes in there all right so thanks for watching the channel please like and subscribe check out my next videos and we'll see you soon